Hey you guys, Trey here, and today I want to talk about the importance of allowing your production to breathe and grow in each section. And in particular, I want to focus on the idea of doing something a little different with your second verse versus your first verse. So here we go. So the song I want to show you today is by an artist named Zach. He's from New Zealand. And he brought this song to me, asked me to build it out, gave me some guidelines. He wanted to have acoustic guitar in it, but he also wanted me to add some other pop elements in it as well. Here we go. Get back, but at least you're happy. You know, I never meant to hurt you, I never meant to make you cry. But I fell a victim to a love called Do or Die. But now I sit under a billion stars, and I wish you were here. Okay, so I'm going to stop it there. In the beginning, I knew I needed some uh, acoustic elements and I wanted some percussive elements, which I brought in into the first verse. But when I hit the second verse, I was thinking that just felt like it was kind of redundant, like I'd already been there. It almost felt like I was just reverting back to something. I didn't feel a sense of growth in the song. And I, I find that a lot, that I, I want the second verse to do something different. Uh, for instance, sometimes if the first verse is kind of built up a little bit, the number of instruments, I may take the second verse and strip everything out, and maybe it'll just be a bass and drums. Uh, something that just makes it feel a little stark and different for a minute. I started out, of course, with an acoustic, and as I said, percussion. Come back with my heart. You took a piece of me. Pretty basic stuff. I kept it kind of percussive and plucky. So when I hit the second verse, I didn't want to get away from the plucky thing, but I did want to switch out the acoustic a little bit. So let me show you what I did with that. Coming into the second verse here. Come back with my tears, cause you drain them from my eyes. So this is what you're hearing that I brought in on top of the guitar. So the instrument I, I use in that sound is called Signal. Signal has these cool sort of uh, rhythmic pulse engine sounds. But I didn't use that in this case. I, I turned the actual pulse or echo off. So I just was using the plug sound. Now what I love about this instrument is even though it's very electronic in its design, it's very organic in its sounds. They're built off a muted guitar. I love that they've used these organic sounds, but they've done something a little left of center to make them feel fresh, current. All right, so one more quick comparison of the two. Here's the first verse versus the second verse, just the music. The first verse is guitar percussion. The second verse introduces the signal synth, but also I pull out much of the percussion. So when his vocal comes back in after that big chorus, it's sort of stark. It's just those plucky guitars and that synth in his voice. That's it. Creates a real shift of energy. All right, so I want to show one more example of how you can break it up on the second verse, give it something a little different. Verse one, then verse two. to the pre. So now check out verse two. Drums out. 
pad out, sub bass, that melodic element. Usually there's something that I want to do in that second verse that uh, creates a real shift from the first one. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was worthwhile. Of course, if it was, please like, please subscribe. And until next time.